when I was doing a raise in the sun, and I've told this story before, but it's, it was a really fantastic moment. Is um, Barack Obama and, and Michelle came to see Raisin in the Sun, and we were told, I think about three days before, someone very important was coming, and there were rumours going around who it was, and the theatre just sold the tickets where they normally. So anyone had the tickets sort of in front of, they just had the, they, they, were, they were bought months before, so they didn't know. It was kept very quiet. And then we had to come into the theatre a few hours early because it was all sealed off, all the roads around were sealed off and we had like a sniper on the roof and armed guard outside on every corridor of the dressing rooms and we all had to be searched. There was a kind of, you know, a whole thing going on. There's already a buzz because everyone can feel because there's helicopters everywhere on, you know, circling the, circling the theatre, all the roads, so there's already rumours that they're, that, you know, that they're here. And uh, the lights go down and then <laughs> it erupts. Like, I, I can just see through the curtain, just everybody's got their cameras out, and it's just flashing, flashing, flashing. It just goes on for 10 minutes. I mean, just, and then we, uh, they're announcing, you know, please put your camera, we need to start the show, but everybody's just gone completely <laughs> insane, screaming. <laughs> and, um, and anyway, eventually it dies down, and they bring the curtain up. And even now, I feel choked up. It was so moving because The Raisin in the Sun is about. I mean, it's about poverty. I mean, it's about race. It's about um, are you are you able to dream as a black man in that particular or black person? Can you dream or all your hopes and dreams? Or do they end up you know, shriveled up like a raisin in the sun? And so, you know, Denzel had this huge speech about dreams and what what you can dream as a black man and c can you or can you not? And of course, Barack sitting there, who's <laughs> It's the biggest kind of dream that any black man could have. Mm. And, and it, there was just not a dry eye. I mean, including all of us on the stage. I mean, when, when Denzel gave that speech, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. And it was just so moving. And I thought, it really doesn't get any better. And they actually came round in the interval, which is very unusual. Normally, people come backstage at the end. And they came round in the interval. And... I just lost it, you know, when I came back to say I just completely, I think I just left it off the ground when I saw Michelle. It was just so exciting and they were just so charismatic. I mean, just the two of them came into the room and it's bang, that energy. They've got that incredible mm. uh, presence. And uh, anyway, so to have um, them there in the audience when we're doing that particular play and Denzel saying that particular speech, mm. I think probably was my sort of pinch me moment of my career. Yeah.